Hello and welcome to the introduction to PowerShell. In this tutorial, I will discuss few PowerShell basics. PowerShell is a powerful scripting language and a command line shell that is designed specifically for automating tasks. It is an object oriented engine that treats everything as objects. If you are new to object oriented programming or scripting languages, also referred as OOPS, then don't worry. We will discuss objects in more details during this course. At the end of this tutorial, you will be able to understand why PowerShell matters in a world of scripting languages, how has PowerShell evolved over the years, difference between Windows PowerShell and PowerShell Core, different versions of Windows PowerShell and their compatibility with different operating systems. How to upgrade to a newer version of PowerShell? PowerShell is a popular open source scripting language. Yes, you heard it right. PowerShell is open source. Specifically, PowerShell Core, which is a cross-platform version of PowerShell. Its source code is hosted on GitHub and you can view, modify and contribute to the development of PowerShell under MIT open source license. I will explain you some of the important factors behind the popularity of PowerShell. PowerShell stands out for its readability and ease of use. This is thanks to its verb hyphen noun syntax, which makes it a natural language. Basically, PowerShell is English like language. If you look at the example here, you will realize how easy it is to read, write and modify the code. PowerShell uses object oriented principles. Everything is treated as an object complete with properties and methods. This simplifies coding by allowing you to leverage these built in members of the object. PowerShell comes in two flavors, Windows PowerShell and PowerShell Core. Windows PowerShell is specifically designed for the Windows platform, while PowerShell Core offers cross-platform compatibility running on Windows, Mac and Linux distributions. PowerShell offers a rich set of built-in commands, but its power truly expands with modules. These downloadable packages provide additional functionality, allowing you to tailor PowerShell to your specific needs. The vast PowerShell developer community is another significant advantage. This vibrant ecosystem provides extensive support for a wide range of applications. If you are already familiar with .NET, PowerShell offers an even smoother experience. You can leverage your existing knowledge of .NET libraries and classes to streamline your work in PowerShell. Monad was the initial code name for the project that eventually became PowerShell. More information about this project can be found in the official Monad manifesto, which was written by Jeffrey Snoover. Jeffrey Snoover is a key figure in PowerShell's development and is also known as the inventor of PowerShell. I have been a follower of Jeffrey Snoover and Don John for over a decade. I have been enjoying their books like PowerShell in a month of lunches, blogs at powershell.org, channel 9 videos and podcasts. While Windows PowerShell and PowerShell Core share the same core functionalities, there are some key differences. I will highlight some of these here. Windows PowerShell is built on .NET Framework platform, whereas PowerShell Core is built on .NET Core platform. Windows PowerShell is designed specifically for Windows operating systems, while PowerShell Core is built for cross-platform compatibility, Windows, Mac OS and Linux. PowerShell IASE is bundled with Windows PowerShell and is widely used for scripting, whereas 
PowerShell ISE is not directly compatible with PowerShell Core. That is the reason PowerShell Core depends on other IDE tools like Visual Studio Code, Visual Studio, Sublime or Atom for the development of PowerShell Core scripts. The following table shows various versions of Windows PowerShell. Because there is hardly any application that has a dependency on version 1.0, that is why it is not discussed here. Version 1.0 and 2.0 are deprecated by Microsoft, which means they are not actively supported and receive any updates. Also, it is advised not to use these versions for security concerns. While Windows PowerShell 5.1 might continue to function on supported Windows operating systems mentioned in the table, it is recommended to upgrade to a newer version like PowerShell Core 7.x for continuous security and new feature updates. In nutshell, PowerShell Core will be the future of PowerShell. You can check Windows PowerShell version by accessing built-in variable PS version table. It will show you the version in major, minor, build and revision format, where major represents the significant changes like a new feature which does not have backward compatibility with older version. Minor is used to represent a minor change like a feature which has compatibility with previous major version of the software. Build is used for internal tracking purpose of the software project. Revision is used to represent the bug fixes. You can refer to semantic versioning, also referred as SAMVER, for more details of versions management of a software project. As I mentioned earlier, PowerShell Core will receive active updates on security and new features. So PowerShell Core will be the future of PowerShell. You can download and install a specific version of PowerShell Core from GitHub. The URL has been given below github.com slash PowerShell slash PowerShell where the source code of the PowerShell has been placed. You can download it and use it on different operating systems. Key takeaways of this tutorial are PowerShell is more natural which makes it easy to read and write the code due to its English-like syntax which is verb hyphen noun. PowerShell is object-oriented scripting language which makes coding easier by leveraging object members like properties and methods. PowerShell code is cross-platform and can be used on Windows, Mac and Linux. PowerShell modules are the packages of commands and functions which can be used to extend its functionalities. Large community of developers help supporting wide range of applications. If you know .NET, then you can apply that knowledge to develop scripts for automating complex tasks easily. Monad was the code name of the project. Jeffrey Snoover is the inventor of PowerShell. Windows PowerShell 1.0 uh, and version 2.0 are deprecated. Windows PowerShell version 5.1 may not receive active significant major updates. PowerShell Core will be the future of PowerShell. You can check PowerShell version using built-in variable PS version table. The versions are shown in major, minor, build and revision format. I hope this session was informative to you. Thank you.